Hello everyone, welcome to the business analytics class. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to conduct a survival analysis by using Python. Specifically, we are going to learn how to create the Cobden Miller survival curve by given a certain data set. Okay, so uh, before we start, let's take a look at our data set. The data set is very simple. It contains two columns, the survival year and the die year. This data set is about the patient. And uh, if the patient, uh, when the patient got uh, surgery and when the patient got died, and uh, uh, during our observation period, we sometimes we lost the records and some cases uh, the patients are still alive so we have multiple situation going on here and based on this data set we are going to learn how to create the survival curve and this is our result okay so given this data set we can create this couple miller survival curve by using python so let's take a look at what is the logic between what is the logic behind of these uh, survival curve. First, we have the uh, data set, and uh, the surgery year represent uh, when the patient got surgery, and the die year represent uh, what is the outcome for the patient and when that uh, outcome is recorded. Okay, so we have certain situation here, and one is. For this patient, the third patient, we lost track of his record. And for another patient like this one and this one, those patients are very lucky, they're still alive. So basically, we want to do specific uh, thing here based on these three uh, patients. And here, if you learned about the uh, survival analysis, we can take take all of these sample as the right censored okay that means um that means uh, if they lost or still li if they still alive they are right censored and if we uh, lost the track of the their data it's also count as uh, right censored okay now when we know that is uh we are ready for the next step. So the next step is to, to determine what is the year we stop the uh, observation. So let's say this year is 2023, and this is the current year, and we use this current year as the uh, end of the observation. Okay, now if the uh, patient's still alive, then we put to uh, 2023 in here. Uh, sorry for this is uh, very hard to write in my uh, clipboard. So this is also 2023. And for the last, it is still counted as the right censored. So it is still 2023. So that's it. We, put, we replace the last still live, still live with the uh, the, the year that we stop the observation. Okay, now the surgery year and the die year are all represented as a specific year number. Okay, now it is okay for us to calculate the duration. Uh, once you replaced all of these sensor data with a specific year, it is easy for you to calculate the duration. You just use the die year minus the surgery year. The difference between this column and this column will be your duration. Okay, this is help us to calculate the survival year. And then we also need to take a look at the event. The event help us to classify the outcome the event can be one or zero if a patient at, uh, if patient is died then the uh, outcome would be one if patient still alive or they lost the track we put the event zero so it will have one one zero 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 one 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 and for the duration is just a number uh, use uh, like this one use 2020 minus 1995 etc okay now we have uh, another two columns it is uh, ready and we are ready for the Kaplan Miller curve uh, visualization okay so let's uh, let me stop share the slides here and I'm gonna go to the collab to show you how we uh, do such analysis using uh, Python okay before we do the 
survival analysis, we need to in, in uh, we need to install a package, and that is a li lifeline. So we're gonna use pip install uh, life lines. Okay, this is a library help us to create the Kaplan Miller survival curve. Okay, so we just click this one and uh, the collab will automatically uh, satisfy your request. Okay, now we have the lifeline imported and now it is uh, it is uh, it, now it is time for import other libraries. For example, we're going to import um, pandas SPD, and uh, we're going to import another library to do the visualization matplotlib pyplot SPLT, and then we're going to import uh, the lifeline. Lifeline, lifelines import. Uh, Kaplan Miller field feature. Okay, so that is all the library we use so far. And of course, we need our data set. So uh, I will post the data set a link below you can download and exercise with me together. Okay, now if I open the left panel of this file uploading uh, icon and I go to content. Okay, under the content, I'm going to import the patient data okay and now you can see that patient data patient.csv is under the content in this way i don't need to specify the path and this data set only contains several columns and over a very little amount of rows so it's okay so i'm going to def uh, define a data frame and that holds our patient data it is pd.readcsv and uh, patient CSV. Okay, let's take a look at the data set. Okay, so this is, I don't need a head. Actually, this is a very small data set. Okay, this is the two columns we just talked about later. Uh, and uh, this is surgery year and die year. We have the last record. We have patients still alive, right? And now it is, we are going to replace the last so, uh, still alive and to the current years, okay? And we're going to define the current year, okay? Current year. And we're going to say current year equal to 2023. Okay, now it's going to, we're going to write some uh, function and man manipulate these uh, columns. Okay, um, we're going to do this way. So we're going to define a duration. Remember in these slides, we want to uh, add another two columns, one is the duration and one is the event, okay? So let's first add the duration, okay? DF duration and that equal to, we're going to use this uh, die year minus the surgery year. If it, it comes across a, a lost or still alive, we're going to replace that with the current year, okay? So I'm going to write this way, DF, uh, we're going to use uh, die year, okay, this is our second column, and we're going to minus, uh, if your data set, all of the die year is, uh, is a number, you can directly use df die year uh, minus df the uh, surgery year, right? This is the simplest, the simplest way. However, we need to deal with those sensor data, so we're going to do <laughs> much more complex uh, function to handle this. And that would be, we're going to say apply, okay? And in this function, we're going to define lambda. Okay, we're going to use x, and we will see integer x if x is digit. Okay, so we're going to def uh, check if that is a digit or not. If it is a number, we can directly mine, do the subtraction. If it's not, we're going to replace 
uh, the 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 text with the current year. Okay, so if that is uh, is digit or else, we're gonna replace that with the current year. Okay, and we're gonna minus df surgery year uh, because surgery year the entire column are the perfect four digit years okay so after we do this let's take a look at what the df uh, is oh okay um so we have uh else oh uh we put we need to do this. I just add another close parenthesis. Sorry for that. Okay, problem solved. So now you can see we have another column, and this column represents the duration, and the duration represents the difference between the die year and the surgery year. If we come across the lost and still alive, we're going to put that to 2023, which is this year, for the right sensor. Okay, and of course, uh, we're gonna uh, current year four right censored data, okay? And now we are going to add another uh, column, and this column represents the event, okay? The event would uh, label the patient if the patient is died or the patient is still alive or right censored. Okay, now uh, we're going to define a new column, and that is event, right? An event equal to DF, and we're going to work on die year, right? And uh, if the die year is a number, then the event is one, or uh, died, right? If the event is still alive or lost, then the event would be zero, okay? So die year, we're going to still use dot apply function. And inside of that, we can see random and x. So one, if x is digit. So x is digit will check if the specific entry is a number or not. Okay, and of course else, we're going to put zero. That means if it is not the number like the lost or still alive, we're going to put zero. Okay, let's take a look at the data set. Right, so we now put the event 1111, they are died, uh, 0, 0, 0, they are right censored, and 111. Okay, now it's totally uh, ready for the Copeland Miller <laughs> survival curve creation. Okay, now we're gonna uh, next we're gonna visualize the survival curve. Uh, so this survival curve is about the probability patient died as uh, years goes by. Okay, so we're gonna do this. So we can define a function called the uh, Copeland Miller. Mm, Fitter, and that equal to couple meter feeder, I think. Okay, use this one. Uh, open parentheses and close parentheses. Don't remember. Uh, don't forget to add these. And then we're gonna fit the data. We're gonna use KMF dot fit. Easy. And in the fit function, we're gonna need two arguments. The first argument is DF duration. Okay, the other uh, argument would be the event. Okay, that's all for the function. And we can do the plotting. Okay, now we're gonna use uh, first, we're going to define the fig figure size. So we'll use plt figure fig size. Uh, let's say um, we're going to use uh, eight, 8 by 5. Let's use that numbers. And then we're going to use k, uh, k 
mf dot plot. So Python will automatically do the plot for us. Uh, let's try it. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. You can see that if we use this uh, KML, we, we, we use a fit function and pass the duration event to the function and then give a little bit of plot, Python will automatically plot the survival curve for us. That's so awesome. And we can add some other uh, things like uh, the rate. I'm going to put a true in here so that the background would have uh, those uh, indicators. Okay, so it will uh, definitely help you to uh, take a look at which probability, survival probability will be uh, when you have a specific year or duration. Okay, let me add uh, y axis, so plt dot y label. Uh, here I'm going to say survival. Uh, probability. Okay, you can see here, and uh, we're gonna create another. This is for X label. Let's say do it a uh, year since since surgery. Okay, so we have the. Label for the x axis, label for the y axis. And of course, if you can put another title, uh, survival curve for patient. Yeah, that is all for the survival analysis. I hope this small example helped you to understand how to create the survival analysis, uh, how to conduct a survival analysis and create a survival curve by using Python. And I hope you enjoyed this today's video and I will see you next one.